welcome to my new home. Current progress, I just put my shoes here, got my suitcases here, and I'm gonna give you a house tour as it stands. Welcome to the bathroom. Oh, the place of fun. Here we have, look at this luxurious looking garment. Curtain, I don't know why I said garment. <laughs> We've got some floral designs so that every time I take a shower, I'm thinking I'm in nature. I could be in the middle of a forest of flowers, in a flower meadow. So can I just say, the fact I have a bathtub, this doesn't happen. I've never had a working bathtub at university, so this is just life-changing. Look at this, so helpful. I can put all my little things in here. What a helpful pole. When I was in Seoul in Korea, I shared a bathroom with like 20 people. So this is... This is amazing. This is life changing. And now on to the main event. Guys, mi casa es tu casa. Ah, it's so cute. So this is without me touching it. The wonderful girl who's renting it out to me for the semester. This is, these are her photos and her beautiful mandala, her lovely plants with all my directions of how to take care of them. Here's me. Her decorations are also so beautiful. Like, look at these. These are the kind of decorations I would buy for an apartment and she is just an artist and she's just done it, which is amazing. A sofa and a bed and a desk and a kitchen and a bathroom. Again, when I was in Korea, the amount of cupboard space I had for just me was about this much, like two, two drawers. So to have this entire thing and this entire thing just for me is mind-blowing just so much storage space it's amazing i have some laundry to do for her and then look at this how cute is this kitchen ah uh, it's fully stocked she grows plants all the time from cuttings and seeds like she literally took an avocado took the pip and grew this very inspirational and I am going to keep all of these alive. I might even grow some more. She's literally got a whole bag of soil up here I can use if I want to be more of a gardener this semester. My last semester in Berlin, I went to a laundromat, which basically involved me balancing two giant bags of dirty laundry on either side of my bike and cycling for like 10 minutes down these cobbly roads and then spending half the day at the laundromat paying for laundry. And so the fact that I have my own washing machine like, wow, what a luxury. That is just gonna be game changing this semester. The loveliest courtyard view and a cheeky blue sky. Thank you, Berlin. We love to see it. So those are my first thoughts, first impressions of this amazing apartment that I can't believe I get to call my own for this semester. Not gonna lie to you, it's been a hectic morning. <laughs> the second I got here, I had to jump into two university classes. I spent the first part of this morning doing these deep readings into how humans do inductive and deductive reasoning. And so all those theories were in my mind. And then I was reading a bit of Plato, a bit of Socrates, because I also have a philosophy elective. And then I got here, I was packing, I was doing everything. But yes, my wonderful friend Duke from university, he is coming over in two minutes. <laughs> so he's gonna help me unpack and make this place feel like my own but i'm so happy also she's left a bunch of clothes so i can go through them and see if i like any otherwise i can give them to a charity shop it's also so weird having had roommates my entire university experience and being like on top of one another quite literally and it's fine and you bond and it's good like i i loved it for what it is but to have a semester where i have my space and I can do YouTube more easily. I can invite friends in, I can create the energy of the space how I want. That is, I can't describe how much it means. Yes, the first thing I'm doing is deep cleaning. I don't really think of myself as a clean freak, but apparently I like things cleaner. <laughs> that the kettle works. Look who's I look here! Horrible. So cute! Like, I so love cute! Yeah, oh my god, it is it's so It's cute! Nice. And like it's got already lots of little decorations. <laughs> Why did everything hit you? 
Oh my god, it's finished on me. <laughs> oh my god, such a <laughs> sexy. Such a sexy boy. Ooh. Ooh I did I think not good. Sure. Yeah. Oh, look how good he looks. Oh. This is a free clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you can expect wow with the free stuff? <laughs> Yeah, it should look awkward. It's not a vibe. Hmm. Maybe we will not feed, but let's try it on. <laughs> I, I think it look good, but like it just <laughs> uh, it just show a lot of uh, like around. It's kind of like show your 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 my my what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It took me so long to feel comfortable with my body. Because it's just not ever going to be skinny. Yeah, yeah. Like, no matter how much I exercise. Okay, the plan of action. I think maybe we can make the bed. Yeah. Then we get the suitcases out. Yeah. And we take out my very limited stuff that I've brought to Berlin. Coming back to the body discussion, I always felt so insecure at school because there were certain things mm. which are like the cool thing to wear. Yeah. You know, like crop tops, tight jeans. And mm. I always felt so insecure because I just never felt like I looked nice wearing them. Yeah. I'm really <laughs> sure about my, my leg. I love being really strong. Strong? Yeah, like, like healthy? No, like for example, I can carry heavy things. Um, That's good, Jay. Because I have wide shoulders. It's only based off of what's in trend, what the world thinks is an advantage or a disadvantage. Uh, not inherently an advantage or a disadvantage, you know? That's true. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> nah. uh, uh -uh. You know what? When you are strong and mm -hmm. healthy, mm -hmm. I can put my leg on your body. <laughs> In Vietnam, it's really rude if you like put because I'm still a man. <laughs> so it's really rude if you like put your leg <laughs> like up to a woman. Or you just disrespecting me right now? No. <laughs> I respect your strength. <laughs> Thank you. So British. And now I have officially moved in. Very quickly, I'm going to discuss the things I'm most excited about living alone in an apartment and the things I'm most scared about. Uh, number one, I'm really excited to have a more consistent routine. I'm secretly such an introvert. I love like time alone and journaling and and yoga and all these very introspective activities which are just so much easier to do when you have your own space so that's really exciting i'm excited to make more youtube videos i'm excited to explore what it's like to live alone maintaining an apartment inviting people over for chill evenings but equally my fears even though i only live 10 minutes away from my uni accommodation where most of my friends are i have this i have a niggling fear that like my friends will stop being my friends, which I know isn't the case, but it's just uh, an irrational fear. This fear of like, oh, will people make time to see me? Will I make time to see them? Are our schedules gonna align? Will I be lonely? Will I just be lying here like, craving people. Another fear, like what if I find something really hard in my neuroscience content and I'm like, oh, I don't get this. And then I can't just go knock on a friend's door. Like I have to actively travel there and find someone to help me. But then again, I know these things are really irrational as I'm saying them because people are really helpful and it's not far away. And if anything, I can be more intentional. I have more energy to give people because I can put more energy into myself. But yeah, that's it. That's the, the living alone beginnings. <laughs> I'm truly so grateful to have found 
a place as wonderful as this. Like it's cute, it's the perfect size. I love that it's furnished and decorated because then I don't have to do it and I'm not staying here that long. Thank you so much for watching. My casual magic of today was, oh, thinking I ran out of soy milk for my porridge and then realizing I had a whole another one just in the cupboard. That was a good moment of the day. I was like, oh, past Jade looking out for future Jade. <laughs> have a good day, guys. Bye.